Hey guys, I'm Rosalvano. Welcome back to another part of The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. Where we last left off was that we were helping Sirius and a Jarl uh, with a curse problem. Um, not entirely sure if it's a curse problem, but it's called Possession, so yeah. Anyways, let's get back into it. Um, this might be my last session, kind of, maybe. Maybe my last session slash two parts. Like, there's another part coming after this one that I want to do. Sure. But yeah, basically that was. This is gonna be most likely the. Uh, yeah, I want to double check to see if. I want to double check to see if I saved it. So just in case, because there's something else that I have to do soon, uh, or there might be something else I might have to do soon. Um. Jeez, that sound though. Oh wait, 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 wait. There's something up here. What? Solid craftsmanship. Fitter must have been from the continent. Okay. Right, let's go to the room that she went in. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's something else here. What is that? Wait, what? Siri? Why is... Siri. I don't think she's here. I think he's hallucinating. No, it's impossible. Yeah, it's hallucination. Damn. Looking to discourage me? Good. Means you're scared. <laughs> it's true. I think the thing was scared anyways. Shattered. Udelric must have been scared of seeing the creature just behind him. Probably. Um, oh wait, what is this? I can't get to it. Why? Examine Somebody could break their leg or their neck. True. Somebody could die, in general. I mean, anything is possible in this game already, at this point? Alright, let's find uh, her, yeah. I, I, I like how she just walked out of the room. Baby crib. An old cradle. It must have belonged to Udalric or Aki. Alright. But yeah, this might be my uh, semi, semi last part, or semi last session to the, the, the summer of this year. Get um. Out! What's up? Found something? Where did what? She just disappeared. What the hell, dude? Geralt, come. Think I got an idea. What the heck? You just teleported outside. What the hell? What's up? Come up with anything? Yes, I have a plan. One that just might work. Can I get any details? Yeah. You gotta wait for me here. I won't be long. Uh, anything else? Said yourself. You can't know the details. Oh, yeah, so yeah, no, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you simply gotta trust me. Alright, I trust you. Hope you know what you're doing. So do I. Oh my god, so she's. Can we start? Let's start. I'm ready. Alright, yeah. I'll be back soon. In the meantime, get a fire going in the oven. I have a bad feeling what she's gonna plan on doing. Maybe she's my. She might do something to the Yarl? Over there! Guess? She's running to the old house! Oh, she stole a baby! <laughs> Take him. You must put him in the oven. Trust me. What? What? Why put him in the oven? Give me the baby. In the oven. Throw him in the oven. Throw him? I guess I will do it. Oh wow, what? Oh yeah, he can't open it anyways. Wait. I don't get it. Why why do we throw him in the oven? I trusted her, but I, I don't know how to expect things. Yeah, I don't know what to expect here. I don't know what to expect. Whose baby was that? What? Oh, it's coming after me, probably. Oh, he's gonna try to kill me. Oh. <laughs> Why? 
to get rid of that possession. Wait, what? Was that a trick? Oh, was there like a thing in the behind it, I guess? The Witcher committed no crime. You'll find neither despair nor guilt here. Only shock and relief. How did she, how did she I trusted her too. Ah, so he got him. He technically got him. It's over. Over? We tricked the Heim. It thought I'd killed your child, abandoned you to haunt me, feed on my conscience. But when it saw the babe was whole, unharmed, it had to go. You're free, Jarl. Free? The Heim's gone. So are the voices that tortured you. Let's get out of here. You know what this game reminds me of? This game so reminds What's me of... Uh, My head's spinning. I'm spinning in a maelstrom. Not enough sleep. You said it was over. That's just fatigue. Yeah. In time, his mind will return to normal. What? Give it some time. What will I do now? Go to sleep. Uh... You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Key is to not give in to self-pity. I feel as if someone's torn something from me. That's normal. The Heim was a parasite. Bonds between parasites and hosts can be strong. That's why you feel empty now. Give it a few days, weeks, you'll be fine. Yeah. Thank you. I think. Farewell. <laughs> I think. <laughs> I think. All right. I mean, I think is stronger than I think. Nothing, I guess. I mean, he just needs some rest. He needs some sleep and he'll be back. I'll go with him. He seems confused. What will you do? Good idea. Then what? What are your plans? I'll stay a few days, make sure he's healthy. And you? Gonna stay on speaker rock? Don't I have to. Yet. Gotta gather my thoughts. I'm sure Yennefer must be grown impatient. Stop oh, mentioning her. That. We did. Farewell, Witcher. Favorable winds and following seas to you. Sure. To you too. Eh. So long. Like, she's gotta stop mentioning her. Oh, level up too. Jeez. This mission was really like... Like, this mission was really like... Uh, it's a really big mission, to be honest. It's a really, really interestingly l big mission because it gives us so much EXP for like helping these people. It's like weird. I I don't know. I'm I'm not saying it's bad. Okay, I got the illusion ready to go. I'm gonna get. Oh no no! I wanna upgrade my precise pre precise blows because they've been uh, weakened somehow. I need eight more to unlock the next thing. Uh. I'll probably put strength training in hand next. And yeah, lightning reflexes. Those two are going to be the next things to upgrade. So there's one, and then there's four, is five, and then adding one more is six. So I need probably to... I probably need to upgrade one more thing, and it's probably going to be... Uh, I don't know which one to get, actually. Is this... Oh, Battle Trance. Adrenaline points lost and pawn taking damage is lowered by 20%. Not really caring for that. When they tell it, no, I don't want that. Uh, wait, is this like a last chance kind of thing? Adrenaline will immediately be consumed to restore it. The amount of restored is based on the number of adrenaline points used. If no adrenaline points are available, a small portion of vitality will be restored. Oh. When vitality reaches zero, adrenaline points will be immediately consumed to restore it. The amount of restored is based on the number of adrenaline points used. What do you mean used? Is it like I have to use adrenaline points somehow? Oh, never mind. No, no, no. I get it. I get it. That, that second sentence just makes no sense, to be honest. It's not needed. It's, it's kind of reiterating the same line that the first sentence just made. If no adrenaline points are available, a small port... And yeah, it's, the second one is just confusing me. So basically, it's just saying that 
how, however many adrenaline points I have will be used to restore my health. That's it. Doesn't need to say <laughs> that it's based on the number of adrenaline points used because it doesn't say it doesn't need to restate itself. It's restating itself that is saying it's consumed to restore. It. Like I don't I don't know. All right. Well, anyways, we got precision blow, so we're good. Yeah, seven hundred fifty. Wow. Crystallized essence. Nice. Ulrich, characters on entry um, updated. Cirrus, again, updated. So yeah, I mean, this game is kind of like... Oh, uh, let me also conjure up the next mission, I guess. The next mission we need to do. So I mean, like, as I mentioned, it's the Lord of Undvik. In Undvik. So we're going to do that as well now. Uh, so that's the next thing we're going to do. Um... Yeah, let's go and talk to those people first, I think. So, yeah, I mean, the, the, this this mission in particular feels like another episode of Supernatural. Like, if you're wondering what you mean by Supernatural, like, the show um, is what I'm talking about. The show Supernatural. I used to watch it a lot, and, uh, like, as a teenager. Not that I don't want to watch it anymore. It's just I don't have the time to watch it. Um, I'm behind, like... I, I was I stopped at like season seven or so season season seven or six I forgot which one. Uh, I stopped watching because I was too busy and I couldn't do I couldn't catch up with it anymore. So I I wish to go back to watching it, but uh, just time just takes away from me a lot. Um, but yeah, that reminds me of that like that one side mission where we always had to save lives and and, and and like we don't get much of a well we do get repayments via RPG like style stuff, but like. Where's the other one? Oh, it's right there. All right, let's go to the inn and talk to the people there. I do want to talk to the people at the inn so I can get some more EXP, some free EXP, as well as information on what I'm encountering here. Because <clears throat> there's some information that might be useful for me that might come in handy to the fights and such. So we might need those information to sort of get the giant fight. Okay, I was just trying to hear the guy's conversation and such. <clears throat> Alright, going in. Uh, is this the person I would talk to? This lady right here? Barmaid? No, nothing. Nothing. Uh, maybe in the back? Maybe the backside might have something? Butcher! Hello? I like how the music... I like how the music just stops as I went into this room and stayed for a little bit of time. Alright, back out to here. Captive? I don't know. Uh, no, not this person. This person? Greetings, I'm Geralt. A witcher known as the White Wolf, I know. They tell stories about you every day around here. Looking for an open seat at the table? I'll be fine. Just wanted to talk. Uh... Show me your wares. What smells so delicious? Oh, he has cards! Yes, 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 yes! <laughs> I needed to buy cards. I was like, I need to buy some cards, at least. Earth Elemental... Scorch. Oh, I know what Scorch is. Uh, a botchling. I'm gonna buy all these cards anyways. Um, but I'm gonna have to sell some other stuff with it. Uh, oh, he doesn't buy weapons. Okay. I guess that's wrong of me to decide that they would buy some weapons. Um. Yeah, let's sell some skulls, I guess. Uh, valuable, whatever. Selling that. I mean, some things I just sell just on the, on the, on the spur of it. Rotting flesh. A mug. No, I don't want to sell pelts. But I do want to sell the doll. I don't need the dolls. Um, yeah, I want to keep the pelts so I could, like, dismantle them when I can. Oh, yeah, I got too many empty vials. Let me cut them in half. Let me cut that in half-ish. Yeah, it's, like, not exactly half, but we'll, we'll take that. Silver pantalons, ornate sword. No, I just want to keep that. Uh, keys to Jennifer's room. No, I have to keep that. Why do I have a cone? Still. 
jade figurine, sure. Oh wait, no, those are quest items. Jeez, Louise. But then why don't I need them anymore? Like it's not really important. Because if it's a quest item, it should be sold already by this point. I don't know. I don't know. Forget about it. Uh, yeah, I'll keep them, I guess, for the time being. All right. Anyways, that's it for me there. Uh, I want to play cards, please. Uh, seven is my usual number. I Actually, can't in that. the mood for cards. Care for a round of Gwent? I'm always in the mood for Gwent. Anyways, yeah, let's go. I haven't played Gwent in a long ass time, to be honest. Oh, Scorch! Oh, I haven't gotten Scorch. What? This is my first time getting Scorch, really? Holy crap! I thought I had Scorch all this time. All right, so this is my first time getting Scorch in this in this uh, deck. Yeah, because I never. I thought I always had Scorch, but I guess not. That was probably the standalone Gwent game that I had played already. You have a lot of special cards at the moment. Um, do I have a spy card? No, I don't. I don't think he's gonna have a spy card, so decoy is gonna be useless at the moment. Uh, maybe not this. Yeah, it it's a useless investment since I can't power special cards up. Um, yeah, let's go for this one. All right. Yeah, so I haven't been playing Gwent in this game, so it's kind of like weird to like actually come back to this, I guess, because I don't really often do this. Oh God, Scorch. Uh, yeah, it goes for the highest cards, typically. I mean, it's kind of a waste to be honest. He just didn't give me a chance to just put in an eight and that's it, you know? Just like thought of it being like a very important thing. Alright, here we go, Siri, let's go. Since he's putting in special cards already. That's like 12? Yeah, 12. Um. No, I want to save Yennefer for the next round. Jeez. Holy crap. Mmm, sure, I guess. I'll just end it here. Yeah, because I think that it's best to not waste it all. Because if wasted, then it's technically, yeah, technically over for me. Uh, yeah, not best not to waste Yennefer at the moment. Alright, here we go. All right. Oh, what the fudge? <laughs> it gave me a third guy. I'm like, uh... All right, let's go for eight again. All right, there's reinforcements coming in again. Pretty much that. All right. So I'm guessing that one of the cards that he had to summon was there. All right, 44. Sure. Another horn for nothing, really. He's just dropping it down, I'm guessing. Because he's like, oh, I don't need this anymore. And leader card. He didn't even use his leader card, which is a disappointment there. Yeah, he lost. Alright, cool. 14 crowns, and what else? Rotten Mongon. Alright, let's ask for information now. Heard Yalmar came here to gather men for his expedition. Aye, he did. Such spirit. Stormed in, swept the bowls off the table, jumped atop of it and cried, I'm sailing off to seek glory. Who's with me? Who wants to cut off that bloody giant's head? Guess that was enough to recruit a longboat full of men. Ah, they carried him out on their shoulders, yelling all the while, we'll win back the forge, string that giant up by his gizzards. Should have seen it, Pitcher. Brought tears to my eyes. <laughs> Proudness. Uh, mention the forge. What's that about? To take back a forge. What's that about? Yeah. I've never heard the Unvickers forge the best armor in these isles. Their swordsmiths are nothing to sneeze at either. I think they that's. They made our blades like the dwarves forged the sails. Soft layered core fitted with a hard steel coating. 
How do you know? That's a clan Todorok secret. Got He's part of that. Who are dwarves. Perhaps you do. But the ore from the mines of Undvik, why not even... Well, no one's got it. That's that. Why are you chiming in for this when you're not even... Yo, mm. more seems popular around here. He is cracks. So. Clever lad. Put together a fine crew. Hardy drinkers and warriors both. By the times I've had to piece together tables and benches after hosting them. The Unvik lads he took on. No spring minnows either. In fact, was a clan Tordorach man gave Yalmer the idea for the expedition. The shipwright, uh, What's his name? Figgy? That's him. Hope to earn a new by name, the Fearless. And now they call him the Loon. The Loon? Okay. How about Halmir's Yalmar plans? Yalmar must have had a plan. Tell me about it. Plans? Ha! <laughs> they didn't even know where to look for this giant. As I recall, Viggy wanted to cross a frozen lake and scale the mountains. They say the giant came from there, awoken by the frost that gripped the land around the tower. To the harsh winter. Suited that man-eater perfectly. It can only get worse. Even the gods. Well. Mm -hmm. I don't know why those guys are chiming in. You'll see. All of yous. <laughs> I like how he's like, oh, use. <laughs> but I don't know why they're chiming in. The, you guys got no involvement in this conversation. Glad Jesus. To be of service. If you need to know more about Undvik or the giant, ask Axel. Or that one over there, or Anter. All right. I'm guessing those two have experienced the giant's like immenseness. I guess. Axel. What do you want? I'm looking for people from Undvik. Yeah. Dead. No, they're not. So now I heard many survived. Stubborn, get your. What do you want to know? You there when the giant attacked? Aye, I was. One of the Jarl's personal guards. Oh. Uh, I failed him. Let no credence to what the priestesses said. We'd be punished for robbing the earth of iron. I like how the lady in the back is drinking. Into blades that men kill one another with. That Freya would punish us. They spoke the truth. Jarl of the Undvik. Jarl of Undvik. Undvik. Tell me about his death. Yeah. Jarl Harald Houndsnout. His whole crew died that night. Wilmar, Wilfred, and Wilhelm. That's a lot of wills in there. I reached them too late. Saw the giant dash Wilmar against a rock. He fell right beside me. Uh. All his bones broke, wriggling like a salmon on the sand. What? Harald was dead by then. What? No, y'all fought like a bear. Whoa. Slicing and dodging and hollering, then slicing again. Couldn't save himself, though. I guess that's how honorable fights ends, I guess. How did you manage to survive? How did you manage to survive? First I heard the giant growl to those flying sirens. Damn me if he weren't giving them orders. Under stress, men see all kinds of things. I know what I saw. Rush to help the Jarl, but one of the cunts sunk her talons in me, lifted me up, tried to take me to their nest, pecked me apart, I reckon. Ooh. But I broke loose of her grip, plummeted from quite a height, crashed hard, couldn't stand. Last thing I saw, swarm of sirens swooping down on the Jarl, thrashing round him. He yipped, he yelped, he screamed, he hollered. Then silence. Damn, dude. The men escorting the women and the children to the ships took my unconscious flesh away, brought me to Ard Skelly. Damn, that's a hard story to hear. I should go. So it was basically yeah. a war, almost. It's like a war with sirens and giants all together in one. Right, let's talk to this guy, Tante. Tante, tell me what's what's on your mind. Tell me of your dreams. Your boars from the Isle, and I once cut those waters with nary a rest. Could trace you the shoreline in my sleep. Uh, a lovely excursion, if not for the bloody sirens. Ah, hey, so he's been experiencing them too. Your excellent Tadarok. He's over there. What can a brute from our Skellig know about Unvik? Heard you trilling a different tune when Yalmar was gathering his crew. Your love for the Ancrete fade that quick. Ah, that doesn't mind, Dan Dyer. <laughs> He's like, damn it! 
You mentioned sirens. You mentioned sirens. Many on Undvik? So, so many. More on the other house. Bollocks. Once they attacked Lars and me when we were fishing, before we could drive him off, they pulled Lars in the water and scratched me up so bad that... Oi! Drive away the sirens? How's that work? Ha! Glad to see you're no islander. With a horn wall's horn. Oh. And toot, and they plow and scurry off so quick, the waves rock your boat. I mean, sirens aren't that bad. I did fight them. I did fight like two of them. But maybe if there's too many of them, that might be useful. But I'm not going to have too much trouble killing them. I have too much trouble being bothered by them, probably. Yavar's from there, or so he claims. And you seem to know these waters. Why didn't you sail with Yalmar? Yeah. That kind of expedition needs a true leader. And a whelp looking to collect bumps on his skull can only be its doom. Once I... You'd rather sit in your arse nose in the air, you Zarakinia princess. Brave lad, Man, this guy's really drunk. You sail with him. I, I bet he's drunk. Yalmar if only those seahorse hadn't banjacked my knee. Would have sailed instead of sharing a table with a grumpy barnacle like you. You'd sail with anyone who'd let you aboard. Crack's daughter included. All right, and then how about? Oh, I gotta get to yeah. I'm gonna get to get that guy. Uh, another thrill seeker. Well then, listen close. I'm not a thrill Let's seeker. In a watery grave, sail out of port and head southwest. Watch for rocks protruding like pricks out of the water. You'll have to do some tricky tacking to get past them. Some That's of fine. Them shorter, just below the surface. So careful not to scrape right over them. They breach your hull, you're done for. Cause just a few minutes in that icy water makes a corpse. One time I remember. Stick to the point. Yeah. <laughs> Watch for the currents, cause they can drag you off course, dash against the rocks even. With a bit of luck, you'll land on the same beach where Jalmar landed. All right, gonna go. Nice talking to you. The time I was on my way. So long. Fair winds to you. Fair winds to you, mate. Alrighty. So talking to them be it has proven a bit useful for me. All right. Cool. Let's go. I mean, that was good hardy information for me. Uh, considering that now I know who went through what and such, and now I know what to expect here in in this like side quest. To be honest, I didn't expect myself to. Uh, I need a boat. I don't know why it's telling me to go up here, but I will go up here, I guess. Yeah, the map switched directions and then make me go up here again. It's like, okay. Alright, so we need a boat. Let me see the map, actually. Uh... Yeah, I don't... I just need a boat. At most. Let me see how far this is. Oh, it's down there. Okay. Uh, Fire's dull. Maybe I might have to travel via Fire's dull. Maybe. Let me go and yeah. Let me go back to uh, go back to town and let me go fast travel to Fire's dull and then and then I will like sail from there. I guess because that's the only one that's closest to sea. There isn't a lot of towns nearby or villages nearby, so can't say for sure. If there's like anything like useful outside of the town yet, because I didn't explore like I didn't explore that I didn't explore these two places or here, and then there's like a town right here, but I'm unsure that that's gonna be a yeah it's too far anyways nonetheless. There's a town here, but there's no fast travel. I didn't explore that ser uh, that that area in general, so that would be a useless journey for me if I have to go through that. So yeah, I mean. We're gonna try to sail across the seas, I guess, just to get to that bullcrap. Oh, this dog's different from the guard dogs, but dogs are cool nonetheless here in this game. It's just interesting to see it. Alright, here we go. Here we go. And we'll run and jump. 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 I like how the jump is so weird and unique at the same time. Alright, here we go. Uh, eight. There we go. I was like, how do I move into it? All right, let's go. Let's accelerate. Here we go. 
So the warning was that I gotta be careful for things that are down there because there's there's things that are down there that will potentially sink me and then I will get killed by the freezing water rather than the actual like things. I actually want to head back first. Let me go and sell my weapons. I forgot about my weapons. Excuse me. All right, jumping off. All right, let me go and uh, sell my weapons here before I move into it. Because I didn't. Uh... How are things? Business good? Why wouldn't it be? Seeing as I make the best arms in the Isles. Just look, iron ore from the bowels of Mount Ardfond, where giants once tore up the earth. Then my forge fire blazing unbroken for six generations. Its care passed from father to son. And every day come dawn, Hara, my youngest, she pricks her finger and squeezes a drop of her blood into the water I use to temper the blades. Weird, but okay. Um, I need something in stock. Mm, I need to sell stuff. Have a look. Selling stuff. Probably gonna play a Gwent game against them. Uh, no need of that. I don't know. Like I got a, I got an axe now, but. That's weird. Um, selling that for sure. Weird that I have this and I didn't equip it. I don't know why. I don't need this anymore. Because that was only for one occasion only, I think. Yeah, I still need to... Uh, I still need to level 27. Yeah, I'm still four levels behind. Three more levels behind as well for the crossbow damage increase for me. Um, yeah, another, no, nothing other than that. Yeah, I do need a new silver sword. I do need a new silver sword for sure. But then there's stuff that are like this strong and I'm like, I'm not level yet. I'm not level ready yet. Yeah, that kind of sucks because I need silver swords, but then I need it to be super strong. Um, causing bleeding or critical hit damage bonus. Let's see. Maybe critical hit damage bonus? Yeah, I'll buy that. All right, well, just for the sake of that only. Um, I think that's it for now. Let me go and repair all my items, of course. I'm repairing all the items, repairing that as well. Sweet. All right, cool. Um, all right, let me play some Gwent game and then... I think I'm going to end the episode here anyways, after the Gwent game. Yearning to play a few rounds Even if I lose Gwent. or win. I'll, I'll end straight. the episode then. Uh, let's start. So even if I win or lose, I'm going to end the episode anyways after this. Yeah, I still get the usual. He has souls to tell, so I mean, there's still potential spies, but I'm unsure at the moment. Alright. What is this for? Close combat? Yeah, close combat. Pretty bad for me. I'll take it. Prop. Another one. Yes, yeah, I knew there was going to be spies. I kind of knew that was happening. Alright, there we go. Lower it to one. Lower it to just one still. I mean, even though. Even though. Dude still puts up, like, whatever it is. Um, eight. And I just need just one more, I guess. And done. Cool. Awesome. Get an extra card. Throwing this guy out. Yes. Pretty easy. Ready. I can just throw everything at him, I guess. I don't know. I might lose, but... Because he, he might have something up his sleeve or something. Uh, okay. I'm gonna put in my other card. Still winning the fight here. Bringing back somebody. Oh, that's my spy. Hey. Oh, he has a special card now, too. Oh, God. No. Oh, that's a special card he had, I think. Yeah, it looks like it. Okay, it gives him an upper hand there. Giving extra one. Yeah, it seems like it just gives extra one, I guess. 
And then another extra one. Yeah. Putting that in there. Now it's now it's swinging into his favor. It seems. That'll be that. I'm gonna do this. No, 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 no. I want to use the special first. See how much craziness it's coming for him. That's totally fine. Uh, because I still had this card left. Um, oh crap! I realize it. That's gonna happen. Oh, that's gonna sting. I'm, I'm gonna take this. There we go. I'm out. Woo! We win. Yeah, we still win it anyways. I like how he just starts p pulling out a sword just because he lost or something. Alright, cool. Alrighty. Um, oh, before we go, actually, I also want to switch up my weapons here. Because I saw an axe, and I'm like, I don't know why is this one not replacing the one I have currently. Um, I'll hold on to this for the until the next level, and then, yeah, same goes for the other stuff. Um, if there's something better than the ones I have, and it overpowers the one that are like for that is coming up to You're level 26 back. or 7, then I will for sure uh, mm, sell them and look. buy that particular item, I guess, or just keep the particular item until then. Uh, just on that. Alright, anyways, thank you guys for watching. Leave a like, comment, subscribe if you guys haven't. Hope to see you guys in the next so part, long. or nobody minds, Smooth and hope you guys... Sailing. And hope you guys have a great, amazing day, week, and night, or whenever you're watching this. In the next part, we will be sailing towards towards uh, Undavix and Halimar, and search for Halimar. And uh, that will be that particular thing. So other than that, uh, yeah, that's it for me in this part. So, Roz, out. Ah.